What's up guys, welcome back to our classic zombie series where I go back and play all the zombie games that I've missed out on. And today, we're finally moving on to BO2. I'm gonna let you guys in on a little secret. I've played some of these maps before. This uh, this isn't my first time uh, ever playing BO2. All around last year, around July, uh, we got on Plutonium when I first heard about it. And we played some Origins and Die Rise. Uh, not much else after that. Uh, we did play a little multiplayer. So I'll have links to those videos in the description if you want to see those. And also let me know if you want me to revisit them. But just so you know, Origins and Die Rise, uh, it will not be my first reactions on. I've seen those maps before, but I haven't seen any of the other maps on this game, at, at least not to my knowledge. So let's go ahead, hop in and see what we got. I will say this main menu, a bit of a downgrade from BO1. Okay, so I don't know what's what. We have this globe here. We have uh, prison bars. I'm pretty sure that's Nuketown. I think that one was Origins. I don't know what this is, and I think this is Die Rise. So what's this one? Oh, is this Alcatraz? Well, that's why everyone was freaking out when Rebirth came out. Mob of the Dead. Battle the undead as you attempt to break free from physical and metaphorical incarceration of Alca Alcatraz prison. We almost did the whole thing without stuttering. But this is kind of crazy. So I already kind of know the map. I, I've played Rebirth quite a bit uh, in Warzone when that came out. H hopefully it's not too different, but I'm excited to play this. Let's hop in and see what Mob of the Dead's all about. There's a difficulty on this. Original and easy. I'm no bitch. I'll do, I'll do original. Unless I start getting messed up, then I'll go easy. Whoa, I can change all this? Okay, starting round, headshots only. Oh, this would have been so nice for Cold War if I wanted to go like see what a certain round was like. I could just start on round 69 and do grinds like that. That would have been so nice. All right, I, I guess we'll see what this is about. We'll, we'll try to keep everything at default. Oh, we got a cutscene. Ain't that swell? He's up to no good. All right. Nice little dumpy. I'm working on it right now. Someone else taking a dump too, by the sounds of it. You know the rules, handsome. No talking. You just smoking a cell like that? Damn it, Arlington! You gotta get the dump. Better be the real deal this time. What? Once the weasel gets the keys, we move on to stage two. Oh, let's go. They're breaking out. Here you go, fellas. Courtesy of the warden's private collection. What? Did the laundry stash the parts? Of course they fucking did. What the fuck? I killed him. You've been in the joint too long, Al. You've forgotten how to get shit done. Oh, shit. Yeah! Oh, he just tanked that. Oh, firing squad? What? Within seconds, the whole the whole prison changes. Should have never smoked that shit. Now Alcatraz on fire and it's got zombies. All right, that was pretty cool. I don't know how much I can show of that because there's uh, some music playing, but I'll show as much as I can. Okay, I'm starting out on the ground. Oh, what is this? Where Tombstone becomes a thing? Press A to levitate. Okay, let's just revive him. So that's me. We got double points in there. Let him out. Let the double points out. Oh, I need to switch my controls real quick. All right, there we go. So there's our M14 wall by. It says we have three of those like ghost charges at the bottom. That's kind of like uh, the, the ghost mode in Warzone. The 1911 feels heavy in this game when you shoot it. This is so cool. Is that the Golden Gate Bridge? These zombies are just full of glass. The graphic upgrade from BO1 to BO2 seems subtle, but it's like huge. This looks great. So we need the Warden's Key tanks. Rigging an engine, uniforms, and control valves. Why oh, we need uniforms? Out of everything, are we gonna confuse the zombies? We're gonna dress up like one? Don't know why I'm doing this. I'd rather just let them in. What? He said, don't know why I'm doing this. I'd rather just let them in. All right, M14, let's see what you can do. One tap zombies is what you can do. Enter afterlife. That's what it's called. Yeah, I'll stay here for one more round and then we'll we'll move on. So I need afterlife to get into this room too. Oh, max ammo. I'll gladly take that. Probably should have reloaded first, but it's whatever. Oh, that's the round. Okay. So let's try to go here, I guess. Anything here that we can use? There's a skull. Pretty cool. Oh, can we go up here? Infirmary, warden's office, citadel, tunnels, showers. Oh, give me to the showers. Hey, hellhound, I think. What's that perk up there? Is that electric cherry? Let's go. First time I'm seeing that. And we have a B23R wall by here. I don't know what that is. And I'm dead. Oh, wait. No, I'm not. I have afterlife. How do I get over there? Sorry, zombies. Get shocked. Knock, knock. You're about to get shell shocked. So I have three revives, basically. Come on. Reload. Reload. Why am I not moving? Oh, what the fuck? The hellhound's here. I can't move. I'm down again. Back to afterlife. Okay, we're, I'm, I'm, this is going to take some getting used to. Let me take these zombies out. Let me get me back up. I buy this door. 
Oh, and a nuke. I might need that in a second. The start to this map has been so tragic. We've made it one door. What is it? What's what the dog doing? I'm hitting the nuke now. So this is also something I can shock with the afterlife. Shock to turn on power. So I need to use the afterlife. So there's one here, one on the other side. So I have to shock all these things to turn on power. So afterlife's a mechanic I have to use. I have to go down. There's a key right there, but it's being electrocuted currently. Holy shit. This map is tiny. Okay, I'm going to go over here and shock this. I'm gonna go over to the other side of the map and shock it. I think I might have time, hopefully. Probably something I should do at the start of the game. We'll shock that and hopefully we can make our way back over. Oh, do I use up my life whenever I, I shock? I think I do. Get myself back up. Let's not go back down. Door needs power. Oh shit, this is it. How do I get power for this door? I don't know where our, the other power switches are. Okay, we might. Th this might be good to die here. We can get a quick reset because it seems like things heat up real fast here. Yep, there we go. All right, let's try to get power on first. There we go. We can also levitate anything that we need. I don't think so, but we can start off with the double points, which is cool. I actually don't know if this starts to go away now that we have it open, or if we can just leave it and grab it later. Because grabbing it round one doesn't seem very optimal. Like, we can grab it, like, what, round five or something when there's a decent amount of zombies? Or maybe we need the double points now to move on faster, because they're, when there's a lot of zombies on this map, it's more difficult to navigate. It looks like it's not going away. We, ne we didn't open this door last time we played, or at least the first time we played, so I'm gonna try to go this way. We'll get a good understanding of the the map on this run and then we can maybe put it all together what the fuck a gun just appeared right out of that chalk drawer that's how i'm feeling sal they have like the impractical jokers as the cast for this for this map okay i think there might be like one zombie left in this round so i'm gonna repair this barrier for a little extra cash and then we're gonna move on go in here showers oh we're going the right way okay so this is the other side of the barrier that i was at i think there's a cafeteria can't go that way but it looks like i need to shock that and i need afterlife to get into that door a soul alone can follow the path this door needs power so we need to shock that one one in spawn and one not too far away from spawn so i'm gonna get all those doors open real quick so let's go back here and then we just need this one open for power too oh i could just open that so is there a voltage thing on each side of this wall? There's one here, one on the other side of the cells. What's down here? Another door I have to open. And then this looks like a trap. I don't know why they have machetes in the wall at a prison, but they do. I think I know where they're all at now. So let me start over here with the afterlife and we'll, we'll go around. Let's enter. All right, let's try to get this all in one run. So there's one of them. There's two and there's three. And I think power's on. Now how do I get back to my body? What's in here? Hold on. Let me check this area out. Oh, never mind. It's freaking out. It doesn't want me to be in here. I can't die in here. Not like this. Not like this. No. It's game over. I got too ambitious. Okay. Well, I, we figured out how to f get power on, but we didn't do it right. I, I got too ambitious while, while being a ghost. <sighs> this map's going to take a lot of figuring out. Oh, I never read this. Find the warden's key. Get the plane parts. Build the plane on the roof. Get the hell off the island. All right. We built up a little bit of money. I, I might have went down. And I thought the game was over, so I didn't say anything. I forget that there's a whole afterlife feature. Oh, there's a part here. Let's go. Acid Gat Kit. I, I just stumbled upon that. We have enough money. We're moving on now. Uh, I'm going to try to get power on. So let's enter the afterlife. Let's grab this one. Then we have to have it up here, down this way, and right here. That should be power, right? Or am I wrong? All right. Let's make it back before we lose again. That's power. At least I hope so. Door needs power. Okay, maybe it's not. That's open. We got that one for sure. Is this one open? Yeah, so we got those two. Is there more to get? I know for sure we got the one at spawn. I'm lost. Maybe down here. What's down here? Oh, there is another one. This is scary, dude. Please don't knock me. But if you do, I won't be that mad because then we can turn on power. Holy shit. Can I open this? No, I'm too broke. Okay, I'm down. But it's okay. We can go turn on power. Put me right next to it. That machine's on now. A lot of zombies in this room. Let's get them all out. You know, let's just shock a few of these guys before we revive ourselves. Probably should have shocked a few more. We're going to have to nade. Oh, I'm down again. We have no more afterlife after this. I can buy double tap from here. Does double tap work in this game or is it busted? Yeah, I can handle three zombies, I think. Hopefully. Knock on wood. Maybe I can't. Oh, I definitely can't. This is not just three zombies. I am so awful at this game. What? All right, we'll just keep trying this. We have like two zombies left. I think now's the time to try to get power on. So let's do it. I don't even know if this is all the switches. I feel like every time I find one, it, it's like I need another. So let's start this one. And then let's run all the way down here. Start up that one. And those are all the ones that I know. Still needs power, it's saying. So I did not turn on all the switches, apparently. There's got to be more that I'm missing. Oh, there's got to be more up top. How do I get up there, though? Oh, probably up these stairs. That makes sense. Let's open this door. 
There's electric cherry. Does I need power? There's a workbench here. A whole area to run. Okay. Can I open this? I can. Okay. I kind of know this area. This is feeling a lot like rebirth. Is that where another hellhound spawns? What is this? I need the warden's key. Oh, shit. And I'm dead again? All right. Well, let's see if there's anywhere I need to do anything. Oh, probably right there. Power is complicated in this. If I get power on, that'll be a W. All right. Let's get me back up. Okay. So this is basically like the dragon. We, we feed him, but I'm down again. Man, this map's difficult. I, I didn't do much to train there, but I feel like there's not any room to. It's beyond my capabilities. But since we're in the afterlife form again, let's just try this. The roof? Oh, there's more power here. Okay, we got that open. Where'd I go? I'm right here. I gotta revive myself now. So is that ways to skip doors? That's pretty cool. Now we're on the roof. I'm pretty sure this is where we're gonna take the plane if we ever get the parts for it, but I doubt it. Oh, jeez. This might be the end of me. Oh, wait, no. There's more room to run over here. I'm chilling. You guys can eat an aid. Look at all these crawlers. Holy shit. Oh, I can run through here. This is perfect. I can train up here. Get some points going. And then we have 45 crawlers to just let loose. Double points? That's a shame. That's like the last zombie in the round. Hey, okay, give me all your points. I'll take out a few of these crawlers. Let's take a look around real quick. Oh, yeah. I know this area well. There's been a lot of fights happening on this roof pre-game in a little war zone. Let's go ahead, go get probably more ammo and see if we, we actually have power on now. I doubt it. Deadshot just twinkled. The dog's pissed. Did the round just end? That's not cool. What's down here? There's another workbench. There's claymores. This is just a, a area to train at. Oh, there's the mystery box. And I think the round did end. What the hell? Okay, well, I thought we had a crawler left. Turns out the crawler uh, was 45 zombies. Or at least we can train a little bit in here. Hopefully. Okay, cool. Let me out, you sons of bitches. What's the wonder weapon on this map? A shank? Okay, this isn't so bad in here. I and mean, we got a little bit of room. It's less stressful. All right, I'm, hit I'm hitting the box. Give me something good, please. First box magic. Ray gun, maybe. An RPG. Cool. Okay. Nice. Exactly what I needed. Can I open this? I can. I'll probably want to stay down here because I can kind of train here. I'll wait till we have like one zombie left and then we'll go around and look for more things. And hopefully he doesn't just die and I have to face a whole nother round. All right, let's try that. Oh, no. We probably shouldn't have. We should probably pay attention to where we were running. Oh, and there's a max ammo on the ground, too. I can pick it up as a ghost. Let's go. Anywhere I can travel to down here? I mean, there's that area. I don't know if I want to risk this. I'm going back. I'm too scared. Okay, let's just get ourselves back up. We have one more afterlife. And that max ammo didn't help me while I was down. So that's cool. All right. We have two zombies left. Three zombies left. All right. Well, we already got the power over here. We got to be missing something. Is there any other doors I haven't opened? There's a trap here. An acid trap. Are we going everywhere upstairs? I don't think I went out this way. Oh, yeah. We need to turn that on. Okay, let's do it. Is that everything? It opened right up. Let me make sure I got the one by Electric Cherry too. I'm pretty sure I did, but just in case. Oh yeah, there we go. I'll revive myself. The gondola costs 750. Let's use it. Later, zombie. This is so cool. Okay, we're in the lower half now. What's down here? Can we buy a loadout? There's a Tommy gun or the M19. Need the warden's key to get in there? Need the warden's key for everything. The tower trap, a box spawn. Is this the only thing down here? Or is there a place that I'm missing? I can open this up. Ow, bitch. Was this the catacombs? Oh, no. I went the wrong way. And now I'm officially out of money. I have not seen this before. All the other stuff was familiar because of rebirth? This is definitely not. What the hell is that? A golden rope? That's probably a part that we need. A soul can see the numbers? Where's Mason at? And right, we have enough to open this door. This map's so eerie. Look out, guys! It's the guard! The guard? What the hell is he talking about? Oh! No! Okay, well, get all these zombies off my body. I'm gonna get me back up. Oh, I'm fucked. I'm dead. It's over. This map is so difficult and so confusing. I have no idea what's going on. All right, let's try this again. Okay, we're getting a decent amount of the map open. We can now make it upstairs. We can get a, a good chunk of the power stuff on if we go down. But hopefully it doesn't come to that. Okay, well, I'm down again. So it did come down to that. All right, let's try to get as much power shit on as we can. We can get this on. We can get this on. We can get that one. We can head through here. There's one more right here. And then I have to sprint all the way back. Oh, I think I'm dead. I think it's over. I messed this one up. I can't get there in time. Oh, hold the revive. Let's go. We did it. Woo. That was close. Cutting it way close. Okay, and then we're back. Excuse me, zombies. I have to revive myself. Oh, shit. 
I'm down. Oh, we can open this door. Okay, this is where we were training last time. This could be good. And then we can head up here. I can go grab that SMG again. So we'll grab that. And now we should be good to train down here. And I'm down again. Cool. <sighs> but while I'm down, I can uh, hit a nuke. Because fuck them. And then we can go up here. We can open up the roof. Power that on. Perfect. And power that on. And I think that's good for up here. You know what? We'll, we'll go there next time we die. Now, I'm going to train here for a few rounds, get our points built up, and then uh, we'll try to explore some more. I'm liking, like, the, the aesthetic and the theming of this map a lot, but this shit is difficult and confusing. I have no idea what I'm doing. I feel like I'm just constantly down. Okay, and I'm down again. I did say if I go down again, I'm going to go try this area out, so I will. Zombies, excuse me. What's in here? Go through here. Go up. Where to now? That way? Okay. And then where? Oh, right here. I guess we can just drop back down, head through here, and back to our corpse. So what happened with that? What did I turn on there? I need jugs so bad, and I haven't even seen it yet. The only thing I've seen is electric cherry. Actually, I've seen double tap too. I guess that's a lie. Okay, and we're down once again. All right, we have just a few crawlers left in the round. Hopefully, they don't die and start the, a whole nother round. But let's go grab ammo and try to move on a little bit here. Can I go through here? What's this way? Okay, we're back at Electric Cherry. I guess I'll do this and get the power on over here. So right out here, turn that on. Right over here, we'll turn that on. I think that's good. I wonder if we can buy Electric Cherry now. Oh, we can. Let's take it. Our first perk of the day. Ooh, we can head down here now. What is that? A, a laundry machine? Need the warden's key for that too. Sweet. And what's down here? Oh, I think we, we've been down here before. I guess we can try buying double tap, see what that does. And our round just ended. Okay, let me try to get back to my training spot. What's reloading look like with Electric Cherry? There we go. What is that? Oh, shit. What the hell are you? Uh-uh. No way. Is he like the fucking boss of the dead or something? The boss of the dead? Why is there all this smoke? Did I kill him? I don't think so. Definitely did not kill him. Okay, went down real quick. No big deal. I will be reborn. Okay, that nade killed him. He said, I will be reborn. So we got him killed, but like, what the fuck was he? The warden? Does he drop a key? Or is the key I saw earlier the warden's key? I feel like that makes more sense. I lost my perks though, which uh, kind of sucks. I just bought those. Oh, wait. If you put yourself into the afterlife, do you lose your perks? That's kind of a stupid mechanic. I mean, I obviously didn't put myself into it, but if I were to, would that happen? Why is the box sunken in? Did that, that big dude come in and just stomp on it or something? Or is the box changing locations? Oh, it says unlock. I have to pay 2000 to unlock the box? That's stupid. All right, zombie, stop camping me. What can I do down here? What is this? I'm going to take this Remington. This is basically like the stakeout number two. And let's go down here. Okay, this is where the magic rope is. How do I get more afterlife? Am I just screwed now? Is there no way I can get power on? Oh, there's three things here that I need the warden's key to turn on. Everything needs the warden's key, apparently. This is open and the round just ended. I don't understand why that happens. I leave zombies and then all of a sudden the round ends anyways. Okay, we got another afterlife back. We just get one each round. How's the shotgun doing? Not too great, actually. It's like a three shot kill. And I'm down. So this is a perfect time to try to turn some things on. Can I grab the magic rope from here and jump into there? No. Yeah, I might be getting too far away. Four. There's numbers on these. One, nine. Okay. Oh, run past them. And I'm dead. Okay. I am thoroughly confused and I have I have no idea what's going on. So I think I'm going to have to end the video here. Uh, I'm definitely not done with this map. I want to come back to it, but I think I'm probably going to need some help. I might bring more people in or I might just wait for you guys' suggestions on what to do because I am I'm so lost. I have absolutely no clue. Zero clue. There's like 45 things to get power on and you need to be dead to turn on power. And then also you need to have all these certain doors open when you're dead. So it's convenient to go get everything and then also there's power in different buildings lost entirely lost but with that i'm gonna end today's video so if you guys like this and you want to see more go ahead and leave a like on it if you didn't and you don't dislike if you're new here please consider subscribing put out all kinds of cod content throughout the week that's gonna be it for me today i'll see you guys next time later